Lab number two is entitled DJ Mixer, the Crossfader Microphone Preamplifier and Power Amplifier. Over the next several labs, we're going to build a DJ Mixer. This is an instrument that allows simultaneous access to several sources of sound. One of the main components of a DJ Mixer is a circuit called a Crossfader. This allows two sources of sound to mix together. Using a single pot, we can select more from one source of sound while having less from the second source of sound. We can use this to fade then from one song to another while both are being played. In this lab, we're going to use the crossfader to mix a CD player or an MP3 player with the output of a phonograph. Lab number three will be designing the equalizer for the phonograph output. We're also going to build a microphone amplifier with noise cancellation so that we can have the DJ be able to address the audience. We're showing in figure one is a crossfader. This is similar to the pan pot circuit that we had talked about in class, except now we've got two inputs and one output. So if this was stereo, we would be just doing this as a left or right channel. So this would be one source of sound, say our CD player, and this would be the output of a second source of sound, which could be a vinyl record output. One of the things I'll ask you to do for the pre-lab for this is to analyze this circuit and have some idea how it works before you come to lab. Now if you have a microphone with very long wires, the wires can act as antennas and pick up extraneous signals. So if we use a differential amplifier, we could subtract any common noise between wires coming off of the microphone. We'll need a gain of around 500 or so to be able to get signals about the same size as our other sources of sound. So we'll build a gain around 500. Now I want to take this output and include it in the output of the mixer. And one of the nice things about this structure of an inverting amplifier is this virtual ground. So what's shown on the next page is a mixing of that output here blocking any DC we might get from our differential amplifier and having an adjustable gain here and then mixing that in with our other sources of sound. Now we could build a, a stereo system, but it might be easier if we just focus on building a monaural system. So just like in 303, we could add a right and left channel together and just create a single output that contains all the information in the right and left channel. Perhaps when we're finished with the project, we could have two neighboring benches, one used for a left channel, one used for a right channel. We can just not use this to then add the two together. I want to be able to listen to our outputs as we're doing our design to see how they sound. So we're going to use the power amplifier we used in 303 lab because the output of an op amp is usually in the order of 20 to 30 milliamps. That won't be enough to drive an 8-ohm speaker much more than a couple hundred millivolts. So we'll use the same structure with feedback to get a fairly low distortion power amplifier. And again, we'll have a blocking capacitor here to block any DC level. So before you come to the lab, I'd like you to meet with your lab partner, derive the formulas of the crossfader, and maybe evaluate them in three different pot positions. I'd like you to split one derivation per group to the lab instructor at the beginning of that lab. And then they'll be part of your overall grade for lab two. Now the mixer is part of several lab experiments that we're going to be building on this proto board shown on page six. In the lab it'll instruct you as to what sections to use so that we can fit this uh, DJ mixer on the board and we will fill up most of the board over the next several weeks. And this is lab two, the crossfader microphone preamp and power amplifier for our DJ mixer.